All right, man. Can you get all the update on Terrence Crawford and Errol Spence? You got people saying that the fight ha happening this year. Uh, what's holding up now? They agreed to deals. I mean, you'll think contracts should be um, written up. All right. You'll think a number of things should be, you know, happening right now. But apparently, Al Heyman is reportedly. Um, Al Heyman is reportedly. Uh, Stopping this fight from happening. All right. Um, and a lot of it has to do with apparently some type of beef with Steven Espinosa. Now, you know, if it's real, you know, if it's, you know, is this orchestrated beef? I can't tell you. You know, but apparently, you know, they got some differences right now. One thing I can tell you too is that. The contract that PBC signed with Showtime, it ran, it ran out in 2021. So I'm not sure if they continue. I'm not sure if they are going to continue. If they are going to continue to continue to work with PBC, because pretty much. If, if I'm being honest, and they haven't announced it, you know, I don't know. They haven't announced it. Have they not? If they have not read up with PBC, and they just on a fight by fight deal, month by month, year by year deal. Think about it. Think about it. Showtime can easily uh, pick up some more movie rights, you know, and. And fill that program. Where are Hammond gonna go? The Fox deal is done. He fucked over ESPN, NBC. Excuse me. So at the end of the day, it's differences there. You know, and it's deeper than Benavidez and Charlo. I think it's about him not wanting to continue to deliver big fights. And I told y'all, allegedly Al Heyman leverages. These networks are big fights that he never planned on delivering. And the gig is up. They know he don't plan on delivering. And when he deliver, they go on pay-per-view. And how does that how does that help the network grow? Come on, when nobody's buying the pay-per-views, how does that help the network grow? How does that bring more subscriptions to Showtime? Come on. If I continue to talk about content. That y'all don't want to see, and my subscribe, my subscribe, my subscriptions go down. Then what I'm, what I, what I, what I'm gonna do? I'm going to start posting content that y'all want to see and y'all like. Trevor now, the subscribers or the potential subscribers are the target, and, and the retention of the subscribers are the target. There's no different than. Then, then what I said here. Edger Broner got loose lipped, running his mouth, not happy, exposed some things. He talking, he's been talking for over a year, exposing them. You got other people on YouTube talking, exposing what's going on. And, and it's a very leaky ship. The Fox relationship is ending. The NBC relationship ended. The ESPN relationship ended. The Spike TV relationship ended. They turned into um, Paramount Plus, Paramount Network, excuse me. Um, and obviously, that's the Viacom Network still. The CBS relationship, it been ended. They don't want boxing back on CBS. And think about this. They're losing a, they losing the SEC, and they just threw like a half a billion dollars, over half a billion dollars to the Big Ten. Come on. 10% of that money, you know. Can cover you know 10, 11, 12 fight cars a year, five, seven fight cars a year, big fight cars a year. But Al Heyman does never plan on making these big fights. And guess what? It continues to be a bad timing, wrong place, wrong time thing for Terrence Crawford and Errol Spence. It was you know, when PBC was throwing out money, this fight would have been made at the drop of a dime. Let's be real. This fight would have been made at a drop of a dime. It would have. 
but they losing money on pay-per-views. These fighters really ain't making no back-end money off the pay-per-views. I tell you that right now. For them, for them, for them to make, for them to start profiting off the pay-per-views. I don't know what I know the going rate for most stars or most solid fighters is three percent. It's three percent. You know, it's three percent after one hundred and fifty thousand buys. Canelo gets ten percent after one hundred thousand buys. That's the platinum standard in U.S. in North America, at least the U.S. Excuse me. So these dudes ain't even doing one hundred fifty. Come on. The advertisement is what helped pay the second and third checks. It's what Al Heyman do. ESPN tried to mimic it with Bob Barham. They couldn't do it. All right? So it's the back. The back end checks come from advertising. Like you advertise on a tour, he got advertisers. He got advertisers that advertise, that advertise the spot and basically sponsor the fight like a fight tour. I don't know where that relationship stand, stands at. With those subscribers and, and or those sponsors and all that type of stuff, I can't tell you where, where that's staying at. I can't. I can't tell you where that relationship stands at. No, Sir Jose. You know, but then again, I can tell you these networks not happy because he's not delivering what he promised and they figuring out, oh, this dude ain't gonna never deliver. He's never gonna deliver what he promised. When he delivered what he promised, we can't afford it. We got to throw it on pay-per-view. So once again, we got to get back to charging him TV time, just like Fox was doing. They getting back to charging him for TV time. Fox don't put up no money. PBC pay for the fights, pay for the undercard, and pay Fox for the production and, 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 and for the visuals and all that. And they pay for that. And they pay for that. Come on. <laughs> Come on. So it's just a bad time, bad place, but the timing for Crawford Arrow Spence. It's at a point where Showtime is fed up. It's at a point where Fox is fed up. And it's at a point where where Al Heyman going to do. That's what they had with it. They had a point that what Al Heyman going to do. He, he's a very savvy businessman. But all the big networks owned by Fox and Viacom, for the most part, where else he going to go? Nickelodeon? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's Viacom, too. I'm bullshitting. Uh, uh, BET. That's Viacom, too. What are you going to start doing? Come on. A lot of people think, oh, he's just going to fall off. Al Heyman too smart for that. He's seen, he, as a smart businessman, he's seen this coming. Now, could he just sell all his fighters to other uh, you know, other managers? I just don't see that happening. Floyd come on and fight Manny Pacquiao, too, before he let Al Heyman uh, let him shit this company down the drain. But it's just a bad time. And Espinosa want to take a stand, apparently, and he could be it could be marching orders from PBC. He want to take a stand when we want to see one of the biggest fights out there. Now he want to grow up here and take a stand. Ain't that about a blip? And my this is my opinion, my assumption. I think when Dave Kennehan was forced out these negotiations, I believe the fight became more difficult to make. I'ma just say that. I'ma say it ain't no, it wasn't no, it wasn't no, it wasn't no. Um, it wasn't no coincidence that all of a sudden he got sanctioned when he's he got sanctioned he got sanctioned right when these negotiations started to me that sounded a lot it sounded a little fishy then it was out the blue you know oh man Kennehan cannot uh, Max Keller, not Max Keller, but Steven Espinoza, Kennehan cannot be involved in these negotiations. Who said he was involved? All of a sudden, Kennehan started talking to y'all about a fight with Crawford. 
It's a rumor that Errol Spence even went over there and had a meeting with him. Then all of a sudden, it's like, oh, he can't be involved. He can't be involved. No, no, no. You know, it's just been excuse after excuse. And if I had to be honest, I don't think Espinosa want to make the fucking fight. Excuse my language. I don't. I don't think nobody over here wanted to make that fight. Because if they was, they would have been willing to do any and everything to work with Bob Aram to make that fight. They'd have been willing to do any and everything with Bob, uh, with Bob Aram by any means to make this fight. They wouldn't have been doing They would have been willing to do any and everything. Mark my words. And that's not the vibes that they're giving off. So they little beef, could it be staged to make an excuse not to fight the crop, not the Aerosmith to fight Crawford? I wouldn't be surprised, bro. And whatever it was that Crawford agreed to, they didn't think he was going to. I'm telling you, bro, this sound like a whole protect Earl Smith thing. That's what it sounds like. And everybody is so much a high demand in this fight, it's gonna be hard for Al Heyman to 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 be to, to not make this fight. It's going to be hard for Al Heyman not to make this fight. Come on. Come on. And right now, you know, Kenny Han was, they got, you know, Kenny Han all of a sudden, I guess he was making some type of progress, whatever. It was like, oh, this is what I'm going to do. Now, all of a sudden, he go to fucking, he gets sanctioned, all right? After working with Bob, working allegedly with, well, Bob said it, allegedly working with the WBC and probably other sanctioned the bell bodies. Then it's like, oh, man, oh, we never worked with him. I mean, it was a mistake. All of a sudden, he started talking with Errol Spence and PBC, and he gets sanctioned. Then Espinosa come out. It was, it was one of the fights time went to. I think it was Spence and Ugas. Yeah. And so, well, Espinosa can't be involved. I mean, uh, Espinosa say, well, Daniel Kennedy can't be involved in this. To me, what it sounds like, bro, it sounds like they continue to have no intentions to make this fight. That's what it sounds like to me. It sounds like Barry Excuse and Steven Espinosa in on this shit, too. That's what it is. In my opinion, if Icon wanted to make this fight happen, that's fucking pocket change for them. They can pay for this fight and put it on regular TV. I don't think nobody on that side of the street really wants this fight to happen. Nah, it's old. We can't make it in 2022. Nah, it's 2023. Fuck it, man. When it comes to black people, when it comes to black fighters, man, boxing continues to degrade and, 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 and throw the middle finger up to the fans. But nonetheless, it is what it is. Al Heyman holding up the fight because it's, it's fake beef with Steven Espinosa. Let me know what you girls and guys think. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. Next subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications. Increase your chance to get notifications. We go live or drop a video. Financially, you want to support the channel, cash app, dollar sign, CJ Good 313. Memo, CJ Good 313. <clears throat> PayPal link in the description. Um, hit, the link, uh, hit the link tree. Find me on Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash App, Venmo, PayPal. All my social media links in the description. Appreciate the love and support. Let me know what you girls and guys think in the comment section. Check out the What's Waiting Box Room playlist for more videos like this. Peace.